Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to another episode of Conquering Chaos. It's your girl, Carissa D. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And you see the thumbnail. So I'm here today to talk about Miss Chelsea Grace. Um, you know, today I was just minding my own black business on the Instagram streets, just to scrolling and I see a live and I go into the live and um, you know, it says something about, you know, standing in your purpose, walking in your purpose, something about your purpose. So I'm like, I wonder what she's saying about, you know, your purpose. I, I love things like that. You know, walking in your purpose, standing in your purpose, being the greatest black goddess you can be. I was down for it. So I went into this live and of course she's not talking about purpose at all. They're talking about, you know, the pregnancy and, um, you know, eating healthy, breastfeeding and so forth. Now, people are dropping comments that are being ignored left and right, mind you. And, you know, <laughs> she's, she's not responding to those. Um, you know, I asked, you know, has your purpose changed, you know, since you become pregnant? Do you feel like your purpose has changed? No response. Um, people asked about, you know, her and Derek and, you know, you guys going to be together for the baby. And, you know, it's just really weird. I'm going to come back to that relationship. But if you know this person is in the thumbnail, then you know what I'm talking about. So at any rate, I made another comment, you know, yeah, those pregnancy hormones are a beast. Oh, she saw that one. The baby girl was not too pleased, okay? She begins to just tear into my little comment, pregnancy hormones are a beast. You're projecting. That's a projection. You're projecting your experience on me. No, sweetheart. Actually, I was stating an actual scientific fact. Pregnancy hormones are a beast. And when you're pregnant, your hormones are at a wreck. You're carrying a whole human being in your body that is growing the same type, if not a little bit different type of cells that you have. Okay? So you have a lot more estrogen, a lot more progesterone, a lot more testosterone. So your, your hormones are revved up, sweetie, okay? In addition to your adrenaline and your, your endocrine system, okay? So your, your whole body changes when you're pregnant. And yes, that's going to affect your attitude, your mood, um, and how you respond to different situations. And it's unfortunate that my small comment about pregnancy hormones being a beast just sets you off today. I pray love and light for you. I hope that you had a better rest of your day. And I also hope that, you know, you have a continued healthy and happy pregnancy because that's all any of your followers want for you is for you to have a healthy baby because we know how much your baby is loved and how much he is wanted in this world. So what I haven't addressed is the fact that, you know, you've shared your life on Instagram, you know, for the last couple of years since you became Miss Grace. You know, you are the wifey he's your husband yet you don't want to be legally married you don't want you know all of the ties that come with that yet you publicly claim this man as your husband you all talk about poly relationships having girlfriends you like girls whatever floats your boat you know what you do in your bedroom is actually your business you don't have to involve the world in that but you chose to, to share that part of your life with everybody on Instagram and in the world. So it's only fair that those people who follow you may have inquisitive minds. They may have questions. That's all. And so when you put your public, your relationship in public, it's on display for the world to see, people are going to judge you. Whatever information you put out there, you're going to get a response. You're, you're going to get something back for that. So you can't expect people to not have questions about your life and what you're going through when you have shared damn near all of your bare parts thus far. I mean, you're not the first woman who has gone from the pole to a committed relationship. You know, it's happened before. You're not the first one. You've turned it into a business. That is commendable. You know, we respect you. I respect you as a, a, a black woman that is not your age, but still appreciates your content. I respect what you do. But in, in that same breath, you know, there are some things that you should not find yourself to be above reproach for. People should be able to ask you questions. It shouldn't set you off because someone states a simple fact, number one. 
So you ignore all the questions about your relationship and your relationship status and the fact that the two of you have basically wiped each other off of your social media. We don't know what's going on, you know? So people are inquisitive. They want to know, you know, we've seen the journey that you have been on thus far. And now it seems like there has been a new chapter written in that book and everyone has their own story to tell. And I'm sure you're telling in due time, but don't get mad when people are asking you questions and rightfully so. When you share your life and you share your business with the world, people are going to ask you questions, period, point blank. But it's very ironic that people who promote a uh, poly relationship, having side pieces, girlfriends, taking others in whenever they want to, you know, whenever it floats your boat. Now, all of a sudden, the wife is sitting here making content pregnant and alone. People want to know what's going on. We're curious, sis, because your answer that she was your response to my little statement was it was given angry. It was given hormonal. It was given, there's a lot of shit going on that y'all just don't know about that I'm not ready yet to share. And we get that. We understand that. And we accept that wholeheartedly. But you don't have to shit on your followers, okay? Because these are people that support you, sis. We're here for you. And we wish nothing but the best for you. But we are curious. We do want to know what the fuck is going on. You know, when you're pregnant, you, you are hormonal. You cry at the drop of a damn dime. A commercial. A bird falls out of a nest. You might start crying for no goddamn reason because you never cried for a bird before. But for some reason today, when that little bird hit the ground, you're busting out in tears. That don't have nothing to do with your hormones. Though. Come on, sis. As a, a mother and a woman who has given birth and who has also been a single mother, I understand the fluctuation that our feelings and our emotions go through when we are carrying and, and bringing a life into this world. I get it. So it's no ill feelings and it's definitely not a projection. And another thing, people learn one word and then want to throw it into all these different situations. Come on now. Projection does not apply to every situation. It wasn't a projection. It was a statement. Okay. So maybe you were projecting your feelings and you know that you have not yet disclosed. Maybe it's the situation that you're going through that you're projecting onto your followers when you don't like the questions that they're asking. So keep it a buck, sis. People want to know what's going on. It seems like there's trouble in paradise. And if there's not, again, bravo to Derek Grace because this man is one hell of a marketer. This man understands business and marketing and how to make fucking money. You people will, you know, these social, social media personalities will create stories for you to follow, change their whole profiles for you to buy into a story so you can buy some more stay bullshit of whatever they selling online. And a lot of it, you can get it on Google for free 99. So stay woke folks. And Chelsea, all I'm saying is it wasn't a projection, sis. It was a statement. And you really didn't have to take it to heart like that. Unless you are hormonal. And if you are, so the fuck what? Like, so what? We all get hormonal, sis. It's all good. It's all great. It really is. It really is. Nothing more, nothing less. Y'all be easy, okay?